Hi everybody, Father Bill Holtzinger here, pastor of Holy Trinity Catholic Church in Beaverton, Oregon, and this is your Friday Reflection. And I'm in the backyard of the parish house. As you can see, there's some greenery behind me. That's the, uh, the pear tree there that's growing, and that's an olive bush, and there's a second one. Everything's going gangbusters. Below me are some rad or excuse me, strawberries. I'm about to say raspberries. Strawberries. And it looks like, I'm not sure what those are. That might be garlic. I think, what do you know? I'm not sure. But anyhow, and then of course the rest of the backyard here has new leaves. By the way, I've, um, I've, gradu <clears throat> I've graduated from the, um, the lawn mower, the push mower, because it was just so difficult, especially as I have to do the lawn mowing uh, now almost twice a week uh, to an electric one. And, but anyhow, so there's the lawn, and back there is the, uh, there's a shed right there. And then some whirly gigs here. And those, those might be making some noise during my little Friday, Friday Reflection. And so as we're talking about Friday Reflection, this weekend is what? It is Pentecost Sunday. And on Pentecost Sunday, we celebrate the, the coming of the Holy Spirit upon the apostles. Now, depending on which text we read, the Holy Spirit comes upon the apostles on several different occasions. And we're going to hear in the gospel where Jesus breathes on them right after this is John 20, right after, as soon as he's resurrected from the dead, and then he breathes on them and says, Peace be with you. you. Receive the Holy Spirit. What sins you forgive are forgiven them, but sins you retain are retained. And thus we have the origin of the sacrament of reconciliation that God, Jesus himself, gives the power that he has to the apostles in the Holy Spirit. There's other times, though, that the Holy Spirit comes upon the apostles, and this is after ascension, where they, again, tongues of flame come upon them, and they're able to speak different languages and prophesy and do other things. Uh, in fact, they've been healing prior to this, uh, and, uh, of course, that's the act of God as well, uh, through the Holy Spirit. For you and me, the, my question is, to whom do we commonly pray? Is it to the Father? Right? Is it to the Son? Or is it to the Holy Spirit? Maybe all three, maybe two, I don't know. But this weekend, and they're all good, by the way, because <laughs> they're God, right? But this weekend, I'd like you to really think about this. No matter who you're used to praying to, and they're, you know, Father, Son, etc., really this weekend, concentrate on the Holy Spirit. Open your heart during Mass and even beforehand and ask the Holy Spirit to come into your heart. Come Holy Spirit. That's the title of the homily for this weekend. And we want to ask God through the Holy Spirit to penetrate our hearts, to change our thinking, to renovate our, our hearts that are broken, heal us so that we may people, be people of joy and an expression of great uh, gratitude, wanting to share this amazing gift of God in our lives. And so that's what we're doing. Now, additionally to this weekend, it's also Memorial Day weekend. Now, not due to any lack of desire, but actually because of logistics and uh, time off and vacations, uh, we have not been able to put together our flag ceremony that we typically have done. So normally there's somebody that comes forward with a flag in uniform, and there's a blessing there. Uh, this week we'll be, we'll be remembering those who have passed on and gave their lives for our country, but that'll be probably found more in the uh, prayers of the faithful this weekend. Again, it's not because of lack of desire. It's more just because we uh, just couldn't put it together. We will have uh, that in the future. So this weekend, and especially then following this weekend on Monday, let's remember those who we know, maybe in our, our own families, or maybe we have friends or we know some people who gave the ultimate sacrifice in service for our country and pray for them. And let's be grateful for them. So as we're you know, maybe having hot dogs or hamburgers or whatever we're doing on Memorial Weekend, let us remember. And that's what we do as Catholics. We remember what Jesus did, right? And anybody in the service, it is a service, are called to possibly give their lives for us. Would we be willing to do that in our uh, relationships? I hope we would. But we know that our service men and women uh, do an amazing job and give of their time and talent in the possibility that they may have to give everything they have in order to keep us uh, safe uh, and to help others in need. So thank you for this time. That's it for today. This is a short one. Yeah, short Friday reflection. And I hope to see you this weekend. So God bless you. See you at Mass. Bye-bye.